uh, uh, effectiveness of the uh, the uh, the privacy tuning and the bit of feed method for semantic parsing task, we utilized uh, two uh, like uh, uh, public uh, semantic parsing uh, data set. The first one is top v2. So this is the second version of the top uh, 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 data set. Um, and uh, also we utilize another uh, data set called PISA. So this one contains a lot of, of a lot of like complex authors for the uh, PISA and the drink um, uh, uh, ordering. And uh, for top, we study both the full data and the low data. And uh, for PISA, we only study the low data set. And uh, here are some like detailed experiment set up. Uh, uh, so to evaluate the performance, so we use the metric uh, called the unordered semantic unlist exact match. So it, this is essentially the exact match uh, metric, but, but since we are using the, uh, the top decoupled format, so we only care about semantic, uh, um, like uh, the semantic associated uh, nodes. So we, we basically we remove all the uh, terminal nodes without any semantic. So that's why we call it semantic only uh, exact match. And also the order of children in a semantic parsing tree. So it doesn't uh, matter in those two data sets. So we, we also ignore the orders of the, um, the children nodes in a uh, semantic parsing tree. So that comes with the uh, like an order uh, semantic only exact match metric. And here are the uh, details of the architecture. So uh, we use the base uh, bar large as the uh, like a base model for the uh, training, and uh, we compare the fine tuning, fine full fine tuning, the privacy tuning, and uh, the bit fit. And also, like I want to mention, like we also in include a like fine tuning only top two layers. So this is a rather simple but actually like effective uh, method to like reduce the size of the, the method uh, size of the model need to be tuned, and uh, we only top to the top a few layers because the top layers are more task specific so yeah so these are the like uh, methods we are going to compare and uh, here are the details of the hyperparameters so basically we use we use the random search of a certain amount of trial with uh with a certain range so i will skip those uh, uh details and uh, without any modification of the original previous tuning and, uh, pre and the bit feed method, uh, let's look at the uh, initial results. So, uh, so this table. So, oh, by the way, so the uh, the uh, super, uh, subscri subscribes here next to the prefix means the length of the prefix uh, used in the model. So, so this table shows like that for both prefix uh, tuning and bit feed. So without any modification, so those methods don't work well in the uh, in the um, semantic parsing task. So there are like almost twenty percent of regression. So compared to the full fine tuning, so we need the improvement in order to um, to uh, utilize those uh, like lightweight fine tuning method in the semantic parsing task. So in order to um, to uh, uh, improve those uh, methods, we need to understand why they didn't uh, like perform uh, well in those uh, semantic parsing tasks. So we hypothesis like because the um, the uh, output sequence in the semantic in the semantic parsing task is not a natural language. Uh, it contains like the non-terminal nodes, like uh, like contains the special labels. Here is a example of the special labels. So this is this is an intent. It's called get a reminder data time uh, intent. So uh, so we can see so those special labels contains like the uh, like the uh, bracket contains partial word column and also like underscore. So this is a very un uncommon like um, like um, a way to write in a natural language uh, text, and the, the tokenized sequence of such labels will uh, deviate from the data given to the uh, prediction language model like during the uh, like pre-training. So, so that's why it's difficult for the decoder to generate the correct output sequence. So for such um, like a target, uh, uh, um, a training target. So, uh, so, so, so based on this function, we propose- Apologies to interrupt. Um, 
we should try to wrap up if we want to leave a few minutes for questions. Alternatively, sure, yes. if that's a bad time, then we can just continue with the presentation and people could leave the questions in the chat. Up to you. I, sure, don't, yeah, know. I, I, I don't know where the flow yeah, I, of the presentation is at the moment. I, I, I will wrap up in like two minutes. I, I'm still like, uh, yeah, so so I have a few uh, slides left. Let's uh, wrap okay. up uh, quickly. All right, let's try to wrap them up then in two, three minutes. Thank you. Yeah, so basically we pre, pre, uh, propose the special token embedding. So which means like we add the uh, non-terminal labels as special tokens to the uh, like tokenized vocabulary. And uh, um, then instead of like, uh, like tokenize them into, uh, uh, into like BP codes, we keep them a whole. And then we, keep, we train those embedding vectors of those special tokens during training. So this is the like additional parameters added, uh, like need to be uh, added on top of the uh, like uh, uh, other uh, models. So uh, uh, with those special token embeddings. So this number is extremely small compared to the entire model. And uh, here is the uh, with special token embeddings. So here is the full data. So so for uh, the result of the full data, we can see like with the, uh, like the uh, uh, special token embeddings. The previous tuning method, uh, the, the performance of the previous tuning method can improve dramatically. And uh, the, um, the, uh, the, the performance of, uh, like with special token embeddings, the performance of special, uh, the previous tuning is actually right now comparable with the full fine tuning. Like uh, with only tuning like about like 0.1% 0 .1 of the total parameters. So that's uh, like the uh, three order of magnitude reduction on the uh, like parameters need to be stored for each task. And uh, this is for low data. So for low data, it's a little bit different. So for low data, the original previous tuning method uh, performs pretty uh, good because the, uh, the um, so we hypothesis because the, uh, the uh, with low data, the model is more prone to, uh, to uh, uh, overfitting. So with uh, more like parameters in full fine tuning and in like with the special screen embedding, so we may get a, a worse result because of the uh, the uh, overfit. And uh, here are some analysis I think I can uh, skip. And uh, let me jump into the um, the conclusion. So um, so in this study we uh, we uh, studied the um, the lightweight fine tuning method on the uh, semantic parsing task. So both the previous tuning and the bit feed method uh, performs poorly in the full data setting, and the bit feed method also performs poorly in a few shots. So we proposed uh, a improvement of special token embeddings, so which can dramatically improve the performance of the previous tuning, and uh, um, while only adding a trivial number of like the uh, task specific parameters. So with this, the with the special token embedding, so the previous tuning is competitive with the full fine tuning with only modifying like zero point one percent of the total number of parameters. Yeah, so that's all my um, talk. Thank you for uh, your attention and uh, any questions.